Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the ISDT UC4 charger. This is going to be a pretty short video since this is a pretty simple charger, however I still hope that it will help you to decide whether you want to get it or not. Along with the UC4 charger you're also getting a USB to USB Type-C cable and also the user manual both in English and Chinese. The highlights of this charger is that first of all it's being powered using a USB Type-C connector in addition, it is very small and compact. It will also enable you to charge four LiPo batteries simultaneously, and its quality looks great, as expected from an ISDT product. The main advantage of using a USB Type-C port in order to power up the charger is that it will enable you to easily charge your batteries on the go using a battery power bank. So now let's power it up. Over here we can find this button that will help you to set the output current per channel. It's going to be indicated over here using this LED indicator. So you can see now it's white, which means that the output current per channel is 0.5 amperes. Long pressing it for a second is going to change the color to turquoise, which is going to indicate that now the output current per channel is one ampere. And if you're going to long press this button again for a second, it's going to change the color to purple, which indicates that now the output current per channel is 1.5 amperes. Long pressing this button again is going to cycle back to the 0.5 ampere setting. This charger will enable you to charge four LiPo batteries with a PH 2.0 connector simultaneously. And you should note that you can only charge the batteries to 4.2 volts, which means that if you're charging an NIHV battery, their terminal voltage per cell is going to be 4.2 volts and you won't be able to change it to 4.35 volts. In addition, you won't be able to store the batteries and you can discharge them. After plugging in a battery, the LED indicator next to the battery is going to indicate its charging state. If it's flashing, it means that now the battery is being charged and the number of time that the LED is flashing indicates its capacity. When it's flashing once, it means that the capacity is less than 40%. When it's flashing twice, it means that it is between 40 to 70%. And if it's going to flash three times, it indicates that the capacity is between 70 to 100%. Once the LED indicator is going to turn into solid green, it means that the charging procedure has finished. If this LED is flashing in red, it means that something went wrong. And by the way, this charger features overheat, over voltage and over current protections. Overall priced at $20, this is a pretty premium product. I like its form factor and also the ability to charge the batteries using a USB Type-C connector. However, the downsides are that first of all, it is pretty expensive. Second of all, you won't be able to set the terminal voltage per cell. So currently most of the tiny batteries are LHV batteries. So you won't be able to charge them to 4.35 volts, which is pretty bad. And in addition, 0.5 amperes is pretty high. And I think that a better choice would have been to set the output current per channel for 0 0.2, 0.5 and 0.8 amperes or something like that. So if you're looking for a charger that will enable you to charge regular LiPo batteries on the go, it might be an interesting product for you to try, but otherwise I suggest getting this charger, which is a little bit more expensive, but can double act also as a home charger and also as a mobile charger. And I think it will provide you with a better value for money, even though it's a little bit more expensive. Your other option is of course to stick to this type of charger and the downsides of these simple chargers is that they do not feature the overcurrent and over temperature protections that the ISDT charger features but if you're going to charge it on the go and you are going to pay attention to the charger it might be enough for you. As always I thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the ISDT UC4 charger feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.